What material is used to make a tuning fork? A tuning fork, an instrument that when struck emits a fixed pitch, is generally made of steel. Some tuning forks are made of aluminum, magnesium alloy, fused quartz, or other elastic materials. Why are essential oils called essential? Called essential oils because of their ease of solubility in alcohol to form essences. Essential oils are used in flavorings, perfumes, disinfectants, medicine, and other products. They are naturally occurring volatile aromatic oils found in uncombined forms within various parts of plants, such as leaves and pods. These oils contain as one of their main ingredients a substance belonging to the terpene group. Examples of essential oils include bergamot, eucalyptus, ginger, pine, spearmint, and wintergreen oils. Extracted by distillation or enfleurage, extraction using fat, and mechanical pressing, these oils can now be made synthetically. What is Excelsior? Excelsior is a trade name dating from the mid-19th century for the curly. Fine wood shavings used as packing material when shipping breakable items. It is also used as a cushioning and stuffing material. Poplar Aspen, basswood or cottonwood are woods that are often made into excelsior. Is a halo around the sun or moon a sign of rain or snow approaching? The presence of a ring around the sun or, more commonly, the moon in the night sky. Indicates very high ice crystals composing cirrostratus clouds. The brighter the ring, the greater the odds of precipitation and the sooner it may be expected. Rain or snow will not always fall, but two times out of three. Precipitation will start to fall within 12 to 18 hours. These seraform clouds are a forerunner of an approaching warm front and an associated low pressure system. What is amber? Amber is the fossil resin of trees. The two major deposits of amber are in the Dominican Republic and Baltic. Amber came from a coniferous tree that is now extinct. Amber is usually yellow or orange in color, semi-transparent or opaque with a glossy surface. It is used by both artisans and scientists. What is German silver? Nickel silver, sometimes known as German silver or nickel brass, is a silver white alloy composed of 52% to 80% copper. 
10% to 35% zinc, and 5% to 35% nickel. It may also contain a small percent of lead and tin. There are other forms of nickel silver. But the term German silver is the name used in the silverware trade. Can weather be predicted from the stripes on a woolly bear caterpillar? It is an old superstition that the severity of the coming winter can be predicted by the width of the brown bands or stripes around the woolly bear caterpillar in the autumn. If the brown bands are wide, says the superstition, the winter will be mild. But if the brown bands are narrow, a rough winter is foretold. Studies at the American Museum of Natural History in New York failed to show any connection between the weather and the caterpillar's stripes. When was the first weather satellite launched? The first weather satellite, the television and infrared observation satellite, Tyros I, was launched by NASA on April 1, 1960. Although the images were not of the same resolution as we have now, they were able to reveal the organization and structure of clouds and storms. One of its accomplishments was to see a previously undetected tropical storm near Australia. The information was conveyed to the people so they could prepare for the approaching storm. It operated for 77 days until mid-June 1960 when an electrical fire caused it to cease operating. Which metal is the main component of pewter? Tin at least 90%. Antimony, copper, and zinc may be added in place of lead to harden and strengthen pewter. Pewter may still contain lead. But high lead content will both tarnish the piece and dissolve into food and drink to become toxic. The alloy used today in fine quality pieces contain 91 to 95% minimum tin, 8% maximum antimony, 2.5% maximum copper, and 0 to 5% maximum bismuth, as determined by the European standard for pewter. What wood is the favorite for butcher's blocks? The preferred wood for butcher's blocks is the American sycamore, Platanus occidentalis. Also known as American plane tree, button ball, buttonwood, plane tree, and water beech, because of its toughness. It is also used as a veneer for decorative surfaces as well as for railroad ties, fence posts, and fuel. Is white gold really gold? White gold is the name of a class of jewelers white alloys used as substitutes for platinum. 
different grades vary widely in composition. But usual alloys consist of between 20% and 50% nickel, with the balance gold. A superior class of white gold is made of 90% gold and 10% palladium. Other elements used include copper and zinc. The main use of these alloys is to give the gold a white color. How much wood is used to make a ton of paper? In the United States, the wood used for the manufacture of paper is mainly from small diameter bolts and pulp wood. It is usually measured by the cord or by weight. Although the fiber used in making paper is overwhelmingly wood fiber, a large percentage of other ingredients is needed. One ton of a typical paper requires two cords of wood, but also requires 55,000 gallons. 208,000 liters of water, 102 pounds, 46 kilograms of sulfur, 350 pounds, 159 kilograms of lime. 289 pounds. 131 kilograms of clay, 1.2 tons of coal, 112 kilowatt hours of power, 20 pounds, 9 kilograms of dye and pigments, and 108 pounds, 49 kilograms of starch, as well as other ingredients. Where were the first successful ironworks in America? Although iron ore in this country was first discovered in North Carolina in 1585, and the manufacture of iron was first undertaken, but never accomplished, in Virginia in 1619, the first successful ironworks in America was established by Thomas Dexter and Robert Bridges near the Saugus River in Lynn, Massachusetts. As the original promoters of the enterprise, they hired John Winthrop Jr. from England to begin. Production By 1645, a blast furnace had begun operations, and by 1648 a forge was working there. What is sterling silver? Sterling silver is a high-grade alloy that contains a minimum of 925 parts in 1000 of silver. 92.5% silver and 7.5% of another metal usually copper. What does one acre of trees yield when cut and processed? There are about 660 trees on one acre in a forest. When cut, one acre of trees may yield approximately 105. 000 board feet of lumber or more than 30 tons of paper or 16 cords of firewood. What is rosin?
Rosin is the resin produced after the distillation of turpentine, obtained from several varieties of pine trees. Especially the longleaf pine, Pinus palustris, and the slash pine, Pinus carabia. Rosin has many industrial uses, including the preparation of inks, adhesives, paints, sealants, and chemicals. Rosin is also used by athletes and musicians to make smooth surfaces less slippery. What is gutta percha? Gutta percha is a rubber-like gum obtained from the milky sap of trees of the Sapataceae family. Found in Indonesia and Malaysia. Once of great economic value, gutta percha is now being replaced by plastics in many items. Although it is still used in some electrical insulation and dental work. The English natural historian John Tradescant, c. 1570-1638, introduced gutta percha to Europe in the 1620s. And its inherent qualities gave it a slow but growing place in world trade. By the end of World War II, however, many manufacturers switched from gutta percha to plastics which are more versatile and cheaper to produce. What is Doppler radar? Doppler radar measures frequency differences between Signals bouncing off objects moving away from or toward it. By measuring the difference between the transmitted and received frequencies. Doppler radar calculates the speed of the air in which the rain, snow, ice crystals, and even insects are moving. It can then be used to predict speed and direction of wind and amount of precipitation associated with a storm. The National Weather Service has installed a series of NEXRAD. Next generation radar, Doppler radar systems throughout the country. They are especially helpful in measuring the speed of tornadoes and other violent thunderstorms. What are naval stores? Naval stores are products of coniferous trees as pine and spruce. These products include pitch, tar, resin, turpentine, pine oil, and turp NS. The term naval stores originated in the 17th century when these Materials were used for building and maintaining wooden sailing ships. What are the three main groups of rocks? Rocks can be conveniently placed into one of three groups igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks, such as granite, pegmatite, rhyolite, obsidian, gabbro, and basalt, are formed by the solidification of molten magma that emerges through Earth's crust via volcanic activity. The nature and properties of the crystals vary greatly depending in part on the composition 
of the original magma and partly on the conditions under which the magma solidified. There are thousands of different igneous rock types. For example, granite is formed by slow cooling of molten material, within the earth. It has large crystals of quartz, feldspars, and mica. Sedimentary rocks, such as breccia, sandstone, shale, limestone, chert, and coals, are produced by the accumulation of sediments. These are fine rock particles or fragments, skeletons of microscopic organisms. Or minerals leached from rocks that have accumulated from weathering. These sediments are then redeposited underwater and later compressed in layers over time. The most common sedimentary rock is sandstone, which is predominantly quartz crystals. Metamorphic rocks, such as marble, slate, schist, gneiss, quartzite, and hornsful, are formed by the alteration of igneous and sedimentary rocks through heat and slash or pressure. One example of these physical and chemical changes is the formation of marble from thermal changes in limestone. Are there trees that predict the weather and tell time? Observing the leaves of a tree may be an old-fashioned method of predicting the weather. But farmers have noted that when maple leaves curl and turn bottom up in a blowing wind, rain is sure to follow. Woodsmen claim they can tell how rough a winter is going to be by the density of lichens on a nut tree. Trees can also be extraordinary timekeepers, Griffonia, in tropical West Africa, has 2 inch, 5 centimeter. Inflated pods that burst with a hearty noise, indicating that it is time for farmers of the Acre Plains to plant crops. Trichilia is a 60-foot, 18-meter, tree that flowers in February and again in August. Signaling that it is time, just before the second rains arrive, for the second planting of corn. In the Fiji Islands, planting yams is cued by the flowering of the coral tree. How is petrified wood formed? Petrified wood is formed when water containing dissolved minerals such as calcium carbonate, CACO3, and silicate infiltrates wood or other structures. The process takes thousands of years. The foreign material either replaces or encloses the organic matter and often retains all of the structural details of the original plant material. Botanists find these types of fossils to be very important since they allow for the study of the internal structure of extinct plants. After a time, Wood seems to have turned to stone because the original form and structure are retained. The wood itself does not turn to stone. What is high speed steel? High-speed steel is a general name for high-alloy steels that retain their hardness at very high temperatures and are used for metal cutting tools. 
All high-speed steels are based on either tungsten or molybdenum. Or both, as the primary heat-resisting alloying element. These steels require a special heat so that their unique properties can be fully realized. The manufacturing process consists of heating the steel to a temperature of 2150 degrees Fahrenheit to 2400 degrees Fahrenheit. 1175 degrees Celsius to 1315 degrees Celsius to obtain solution of a substantial percentage of the alloy carbides, quenching to room temperature. Tempering at 1000 degrees Fahrenheit to 1150 degrees Fahrenheit, 535 degrees Celsius to 620 degrees Celsius, and again cooling to room temperature. Who invented the barometer? A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. It was invented in 1644 by Evangelista Torricelli, 1608-1647. As a student of Galileo Galilei, 1564 to 1642, for a short time. Torricelli was inspired by Galileo's observation that piston pumps can only lift water up 33 feet. About 10 meters, after which point it is impossible to pump the water any higher. Torricelli proposed that air had weight, and therefore, exerted pressure. He tested his theory by filling a dish with mercury, a liquid that is 13.6 times denser than water. A liquid that is denser than water allowed him to use a smaller quantity and a glass tube, which was easier to manipulate. He then took a glass tube 4 feet, 1.2 meters, long glass tube that was open on one end, filled it with mercury and turned it upside down with the open end beneath the surface of the mercury in the dish. Some, but not all of the mercury, flowed from the tube into the dish, 30 inches, 760 millimeters, remained. The only force that was able to support the mercury in the tube was the weight of the air exerting pressure on the mercury in the dish. The word barometer which means weight measure, from the Greek baros, meaning weight and metron. Meaning meter, was not coined until 1665 by Robert Boyle, 1627-1691. Boyle also changed the design for the barometer by using a shaped tube. Thus eliminating the need for a mercury reservoir. The English physicist Robert Hooke, 1635-1703, further improved on the barometer by creating an easy Toriad dial display. What is amber grease? Amber grease, a highly odorous, waxy substance found floating in tropical seas, is a secretion from the sperm whale, Physitor catadon. The whale secretes amber grease to protect its stomach from the sharp bone of the cuttlefish. A squid like sea mollusk, which it ingests. Amber grease is used in perfumery as a fixative to extend the life of a perfume and as a flavoring for food and beverages.
Today ambergris is synthesized and used by the perfume trade. Which has voluntarily refused to purchase natural ambergris to protect sperm whales from exploitation. What is ambergris? Ambergris, a highly odorous, waxy substance found floating in tropical seas, is a secretion from the sperm whale, Visitor Catadon. The whale secretes ambergris to protect its stomach from the sharp bone of the cuttlefish. A squid-like sea mollusk, which it ingests. Ambergris is used in perfumery as a fixative to extend the life of a perfume and as a flavoring for food and beverages. Today ambergris is synthesized and used by the perfume trade. Which has voluntarily refused to purchase natural ambergris to protect sperm whales from exploitation. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping the trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air and forms irregular lumps the form in which it is usually marketed. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used in pharmaceuticals. As a perfume, as a fixative, and in fumigants and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, a native of Arabia and Northeast Africa. It too is a resin obtained from the tree trunk and is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpaste. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping the trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air and forms irregular lumps the form in which it is usually marketed. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used in pharmaceuticals. As a perfume, as a fixative, and in fumigants and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, a native of Arabia and Northeast Africa. It too is a resin obtained from the tree trunk and is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpaste. Where does Isinglass come from? Isinglass is the purest form of animal gelatin. It is manufactured from the swimming bladder of sturgeon and other fishes. It is used in the clarification of wine and beer as well as in the making of some cements. Jams, jellies, and soups. Where does Isinglass come from?
Isinglass is the purest form of animal gelatin. It is manufactured from the swimming bladder of sturgeon and other fishes. It is used in the clarification of wine and beer as well as in the making of some cements. Jams, jellies, and soups. How is silk made? Silk fiber is a continuous protein filament produced by a silkworm to form its cocoon. The principal species used in commercial silk making is the mulberry silkworm. The larva of the silk moth Bombyx mori, belonging to the order Lepidoptera. The raw silk fiber has three elements two filaments excreted from both of the silkworms. Glands and a soluble silk gum called sericin, which cements the filaments together. It is from these filaments that the caterpillar constructs a cocoon around itself. The process of silk making starts with raising silkworms on diets of mulberry leaves for five weeks until they spin their cocoons. Then the cocoons are treated with heat to kill the silkworms inside. Otherwise when the moths emerged, they would break the long silk filaments. After the cocoons are soaked in hot water, the filaments of 5 to 10 cocoons are unwound in the reeling process and twisted into a single thicker filament, still too fine for weaving. These twisted filaments are twisted again into a thread that can be woven. How is silk made? Silk fiber is a continuous protein filament produced by a silkworm to form its cocoon. The principal species used in commercial silk making is the mulberry silkworm. The larva of the silk moth Bombyx mori, belonging to the order Lepidoptera. The raw silk fiber has three elements two filaments excreted from both of the silkworms. Glands and a soluble silk gum called sericin, which cements the filaments together. It is from these filaments that the caterpillar constructs a cocoon around itself. The process of silk making starts with raising silkworms on diets of mulberry leaves for five weeks until they spin their cocoons. Then the cocoons are treated with heat to kill the silkworms inside. Otherwise when the moths emerged, they would break the long silk filaments. After the cocoons are soaked in hot water, the filaments of 5 to 10 cocoons are unwound in the reeling process. And twisted into a single thicker filament, still too fine for weaving. These twisted filaments are twisted again into a thread that can be woven. What is Kashmir? Kashmir goats, which live high in the plateaus of the area from northern China to Mongolia are covered in a coarse outer hair that helps protect them from the cold, harsh weather. As insulation, these goats have a softer, finer layer of hair or down under the coarse outer hair. This fine hair is shed annually and processed to make cashmere. 
Each goat produces enough cashmere to make one sweater every four years. What is cashmere? Kashmir goats, which live high in the plateaus of the area from northern China to Mongolia, are covered in a coarse outer hair that helps protect them from the cold, harsh weather. As insulation, these goats have a softer, finer layer of hair or down under the coarse outer hair. This fine hair is shed annually and processed to make cashmere. Each goat produces enough cashmere to make one sweater every four years. What are the major distinguishing characteristics of ceramics? Ceramics are crystalline compounds of metallic and non-metallic elements. Ceramics are the most rigid of all materials with an almost total absence of ductility. They have the highest known melting points of materials with some being as high as 7000 degrees Fahrenheit. 3870 degrees Celsius and many that melt at temperatures of 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit 1,927 degrees Celsius. Glass, brick, cement, and plaster, dinnerware, artware, and porcelain enamel are all examples of ceramics. What are the major distinguishing characteristics of ceramics? Ceramics are crystalline compounds of metallic and non-metallic elements. Ceramics are the most rigid of all materials with an almost total absence of ductility. They have the highest known melting points of materials with some being as high as 7000 degrees Fahrenheit. 3870 degrees Celsius, and many that melt at temperatures of 3500 degrees Fahrenheit 1927 degrees Celsius. Glass, brick, cement, and plaster, dinnerware, artware, and porcelain enamel are all examples of ceramics. What are composite materials? Composite materials, or simply composites, consist of two parts. The reinforcing phase and the binder or matrix. Composites may be natural substances, such as wood and bone, or man made substances. A composite product is different from each of its components and is often superior to each individual component. The binder or matrix of a composite is the material that supports the reinforcing phase. The reinforcing phase is usually in the form of particles, fibers, or flat sheets. Reinforced concrete is an example of a composite material. The steel rods embedded in the concrete, the matrix. Are the reinforcing phase adding strength and flexibility to the concrete? High performance composites are composites that perform better than traditional structural materials, such as steel. 
most high-performance composites have fibers in the reinforcing phase and a polymer matrix. The fibers may be glass, boron, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or a type of polymer. The fibers are often interwoven to form bundles. The purpose of the matrix, usually a polymer, in a high-performance composite, is to hold the fibers together and protect them. What are composite materials? Composite materials, or simply composites, consist of two parts. The reinforcing phase and the binder or matrix. Composites may be natural substances, such as wood and bone, or man-made substances. A composite product is different from each of its components. And is often superior to each individual component. The binder or matrix of a composite is the material that supports the reinforcing phase. The reinforcing phase is usually in the form of particles, fibers, or flat sheets. Reinforced concrete is an example of a composite material. The steel rods embedded in the concrete, the matrix are the reinforcing phase adding strength and flexibility to the concrete. High performance composites are composites that perform better than traditional structural materials, such as steel. Most high performance composites have fibers in the reinforcing phase and a polymer matrix. The fibers may be glass, boron, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or a type of polymer. The fibers are often interwoven to form bundles. The purpose of the matrix, usually a polymer, in a high-performance composite, is to hold the fibers together and protect them. Why is styrofoam a good insulator? Styrofoam insulates well because the foam form increases. The length of path for heat flow through the material. It also reduces the effective cross-sectional area across which the heat can flow. Why is styrofoam a good insulator? Styrofoam insulates well because the foam form increases. The length of path for heat flow through the material. It also reduces the effective cross-sectional area across which the heat can flow. How is dry ice made? Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2. Used primarily to refrigerate perishables that are being transported from one location to another. The carbon dioxide, which at normal temperatures is a gas is stored and shipped as a liquid in tanks that are pressurized at 1073 pounds per square inch. To make dry ice, the carbon dioxide liquid is withdrawn from the 
tank and allowed to evaporate at a normal pressure in a porous bag. This rapid evaporation consumes so much heat that part of the liquid CO2 freezes to a temperature of minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit minus 78 degrees Celsius. The frozen liquid is then compressed by machines into blocks of dry ice. Which will melt into a gas again when set out at room temperature. It was first made commercially in 1925 by the Pressed Air Devices Company of Long Island City. New York, through the efforts of Thomas Benton Slade. It was used by Schrafts of New York in July 1925 to keep ice cream from melting. The first large sale of dry ice was made later in that year to Brayer Ice Cream Company of New York. Although used mostly as a refrigerant or coolant, other uses include medical procedures such as freezing warts. Blast cleaning, freeze branding animals, and creating special effects for live performances and films. How is dry ice made? Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2. Used primarily to refrigerate perishables that are being transported from one location to another. The carbon dioxide, which at normal temperatures is a gas, is stored and shipped as a liquid in tanks that are pressurized at 1,073 pounds per square inch. To make dry ice, the carbon dioxide liquid is withdrawn from the tank and allowed to evaporate at a normal pressure in a porous bag. This rapid evaporation consumes so much heat that part of the liquid CO2 freezes to a temperature of minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit minus 78 degrees Celsius. The frozen liquid is then compressed by machines into blocks of dry ice. Which will melt into a gas again when set out at room temperature. It was first made commercially in 1925 by the Pressed Air Devices Company of Long Island City. New York, through the efforts of Thomas Benton Slade. It was used by Schrafts of New York in July 1925 to keep ice cream from melting. The first large sale of dry ice was made later in that year to Brayer Ice Cream Company of New York. Although used mostly as a refrigerant or coolant, other uses include medical procedures such as freezing warts. Blast cleaning, freeze branding animals, and creating special effects for live performances and films. Why is sulfuric acid important? Sometimes called oil of vitriol, or vitriolic acid, Sulfuric acid H2SO4 has become one of the most important of all chemicals. It was little used until it became essential for the manufacture of soda in the 18th century. It is prepared industrially by the reaction of water with sulfur trioxide which in turn is made by chemical combination of sulfur dioxide and oxygen by one of two processes. The contact process or the chamber process. Many manufactured articles in common use depend in some way on sulfuric acid for their production. 
90% of the sulfuric acid manufactured in the United States is used in the production of fertilizers and other inorganic chemicals. Why is sulfuric acid important? Sometimes called oil of vitriol, or vitriolic acid, sulfuric acid. H2SO4, has become one of the most important of all chemicals. It was little used until it became essential for the manufacture of soda in the 18th century. It is prepared industrially by the reaction of water with sulfur trioxide. Which in turn is made by chemical combination of sulfur dioxide and oxygen by one of two processes. The contact process or the chamber process. Many manufactured articles in common use depend in some way on sulfuric acid for their production. 90% of the sulfuric acid manufactured in the United States is used in the production of fertilizers and other inorganic chemicals. What is aqua regia? Aqua regia, also known as nitrohydrochloric acid, is a mixture of one part concentrated nitric acid and three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid. The chemical reaction between the acids makes it possible to dissolve all metals except silver. The reaction of metals with nitrohydrochloric acid typically involves oxidation of the metals to a metallic ion and the reduction of the nitric acid to nitric oxide. The term comes from Latin and means royal water. It was named by the alchemists for its ability to dissolve gold and platinum, which were called the noble metals. What is aqua regia? Aqua regia, also known as nitrohydrochloric acid, is a mixture of one part concentrated nitric acid and three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid. The chemical reaction between the acids makes it possible to dissolve all metals except silver. The reaction of metals with nitrohydrochloric acid typically involves oxidation of the metals to a metallic ion and the reduction of the nitric acid to nitric oxide. The term comes from Latin and means royal water. It was named by the alchemists for its ability to dissolve gold and platinum, which were called the noble metals. Who developed the process for making ammonia? Known since ancient times, ammonia, NH3, has been commercially important for more than 100 years. The first breakthrough in the large-scale synthesis of Ammonia resulted from the work of Fritz Haber, 1863-1934. Who developed the process for making ammonia?
known since ancient times, ammonia, NH3, has been commercially important for more than 100 years. The first breakthrough in the large-scale synthesis of ammonia resulted from the work of Fritz Haber, 1863-1934. What is petrology and what does a petrologist do? Petrology is the science of rocks. A petrologist is a person who studies the mineralogy of rocks. And the record of the geological past contained within rocks. From rocks, a petrologist can learn about past climates and geography. Past and present composition of the earth, and the conditions that prevail within the interior of the earth. How old are fossils? The oldest known fossils are of bacteria that left their impressions approximately 3.5 billion years ago. The oldest animal fossils are of invertebrates that lived approximately 700 million years ago. The largest number of fossils come from the Cambrian period of 505 to 590 million years ago. When living organisms began to develop skeletons and hard parts. Since these parts tended to last longer than ordinary tissue. They were more likely to be preserved in clay and become fossilized. Is lodestone a magnet? Lodestone is a naturally occurring variety of magnetic iron oxide or magnetite. Lodestone is frequently called a natural magnet because it attracts iron objects and possesses polarity. It was used by early mariners to find magnetic north. Other names for lodestone are lodestone, leading stone, and Hercules stone. How does a rock differ from a mineral? Mineralogists use the term mineral for a substance that has all four of the following features. It must be found in nature, it must be made up of substances that were never alive, organic. It has the same chemical makeup wherever it is found, and its atoms are arranged in a regular pattern to form solid crystals. Although rocks are sometimes described as an aggregate or combination of one or more minerals. Geologists extend the definition to include clay, loose sand, and certain limestones. What is cinnabar? Cinnabar is the main ore of the mineral mercury. Its cinnamon to scarlet red color makes it a colorful mineral. It is produced primarily in the United States, California, Oregon, Texas, and Arkansas, Spain, Italy, and Mexico. It is often used as a pigment.
what is the composition of you? S coins currently in circulation. During colonial times, coins were composed of gold, silver, and copper. The U.S. Mint produced gold coins until 1933, during the Great Depression. The silver in quarters and dimes was replaced in 1966. Today, nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars are composed of copper and nickel. They have a copper core and an outer layer composed of a 75% copper, 25% nickel alloy. Pennies, once copper coins, are now composed of copper plated zinc. What is obsidian? Obsidian is a volcanic glass that usually forms in the upper parts of lava flows. Embryonic crystal growths, known as crystal lights, make the glass an opaque, jet black color. Red or brown obsidian could result if iron oxide dust is present. There are some well-known formations in existence including the obsidian cliffs in Yellowstone Park and Mount Hikla in Iceland. Why is sulfuric acid important? Sometimes called oil of vitriol, or vitriolic acid, Sulfuric acid H2SO4 has become one of the most important of all chemicals. It was little used until it became essential for the manufacture of soda in the 18th century. It is prepared industrially by the reaction of water with sulfur trioxide, which in turn is made by chemical combination of sulfur dioxide and oxygen by one of two processes. The contact process or the chamber process. Many manufactured articles in common use depend in some way on sulfuric acid for their production. 90% of the sulfuric acid manufactured in the United States is used in the production of fertilizers and other inorganic chemicals. What is diatomite? Diatomite, also called diatomaceous earth, is a white or cream colored, friable porous rock composed of the fossil remains of diatoms small water plants with silica cell walls these fossils build up on the ocean bottoms to form diatomite and in some places these areas have become dry land or diatomaceous earth chemically inert and having a rough texture and other unusual physical properties. It is suitable for many scientific and industrial purposes, including use as a filtering agent, building material, heat, cold, and sound insulator, catalyst carrier, filler absorbent, abrasive, and ingredient in pharmaceutical preparations. Dynamite is made from it by soaking it in the liquid explosive nitroglycerin. What is the composition of the rock of Gibraltar? It 
it is composed of grey limestone, with a dark shale overlay on parts of its western slopes. Located on a peninsula at the southern extremity of Spain, the Rock of Gibraltar is a mountain at the east end of the Strait of Gibraltar. The narrow passage between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The rock is 1,398 feet, 425 meters, tall at its highest point. Why is styrofoam a good insulator? Styrofoam insulates well because the foam form increases. The length of path for heat flow through the material. It also reduces the effective cross-sectional area across which the heat can flow. What is amber grease? Amber grease, a highly odorous, waxy substance found floating in tropical seas, is a secretion from the sperm whale, Visitor catadon. The whale secretes amber grease to protect its stomach from the sharp bone of the cuttlefish. A squid-like sea mollusk, which it ingests. Amber grease is used in perfumery as a fixative to extend the life of a perfume and as a flavoring for food and beverages. Today amber grease is synthesized and used by the perfume trade which has voluntarily refused to purchase natural ambergris to protect sperm whales from exploitation. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping. The trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air and forms. Irregular lumps the form in which it is usually marketed. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used in pharmaceuticals. As a perfume, as a fixative, and in fumigants and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, a native of Arabia and Northeast Africa. It too is a resin obtained from the tree trunk and is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpaste. What is Red Dog? Red Dog is the residue from burned coal dumps. The dumps are composed of waste products incidental to coal mining. Under pressure in these waste dumps, the waste frequently ignites from spontaneous combustion. Producing a red-colored ash, which is used for driveways, parking lots, and roads. What is the Mohs scale? The Mohs scale is a standard of 10 minerals by which the hardness of a mineral is rated. It was introduced in 1812 by the German mineralogist Friedrich Mohs, 
the minerals are arranged from softest to hardest. Harder minerals with higher numbers can scratch those with a lower number. How is silk made? Silk fiber is a continuous protein filament produced by a silkworm to form its cocoon. The principal species used in commercial silk making is the mulberry silkworm. The larva of the silk moth Bombyx mori, belonging to the order Lepidoptera. The raw silk fiber has three elements two filaments excreted from both of the silkworms. Glands and a soluble silk gum called saracen, which cements the filaments together. It is from these filaments that the caterpillar constructs a cocoon around itself. The process of silk making starts with raising silkworms on diets. Of mulberry leaves for five weeks until they spin their cocoons. Then the cocoons are treated with heat to kill the silkworms inside. Otherwise when the moths emerged, they would break the long silk filaments. After the cocoons are soaked in hot water, the filaments of 5 to 10 cocoons are unwound in the reeling process. And twisted into a single thicker filament, still too fine for weaving. These twisted filaments are twisted again into a thread that can be woven. Who developed the process for making ammonia? Known since ancient times, ammonia, NH3, has been commercially important for more than 100 years. The first breakthrough in the large-scale synthesis of ammonia resulted from the work of Fritz Haber, 1863-1934. Which countries have uranium deposits? Uranium, a radioactive metallic element, is the only natural material capable of sustaining nuclear fission. But only one isotope, uranium-235, which occurs in one molecule out of 40 of natural uranium, can undergo fission under neutron bombardment. Mined in various parts of the world. It must then be converted during purification to uranium dioxide, UO2. Uranium deposits occur throughout the world. With approximately 75% of all known uranium deposits in Australia. Other countries with significant deposits are Kazakhstan, 17% of the world's total. Canada, United States, South Africa, Namibia, Brazil, Niger, and Russia. Canada is the largest exporter of uranium. Who was the first person to attempt a color standardization scheme for minerals? The German mineralogist Abraham Gottlob Werner, c. 1750-1817, devised a method of describing minerals by their external characteristics, including color. 
he worked out an arrangement of colors and color names, illustrated by an actual set of minerals. If diamond is the hardest substance, what is the next hardest substance? Cubic boron nitride, which is the hardest ceramic, is the second hardest substance in the world. Another type of fossil is the imprint of a what are Indian dollars? They are six-sided, disc-shaped, twin crystals of aragonite, CACO3, which have altered to calcite but retain their outer form. They occur in large numbers in northern Colorado, where they are known as Indian dollars. In New Mexico they are called Aztec money and in western Kansas they are called Pioneer dollars. What is Aqua Regia? Aqua Regia, also known as nitrohydrochloric acid, is a mixture of one part concentrated nitric acid and three parts concentrated hydrochloric acid. The chemical reaction between the acids makes it possible to dissolve all metals except silver. The reaction of metals with nitrohydrochloric acid typically involves oxidation of the metals to a metallic ion and the reduction of the nitric acid to nitric oxide. The term comes from Latin and means royal water. It was named by the alchemists for its ability to dissolve gold and platinum, which were called the noble metals. Where does Isinglass come from? Isinglass is the purest form of animal gelatin. It is manufactured from the swimming bladder of sturgeon and other fishes. It is used in the clarification of wine and beer as well as in the making of some cements jams, jellies, and soups. What are composite materials? Composite materials, or simply composites, consist of two parts. The reinforcing phase and the binder or matrix. Composites may be natural substances, such as wood and bone, or man made substances. A composite product is different from each of its components and is often superior to each individual component. The binder or matrix of a composite is the material that supports the reinforcing phase. The reinforcing phase is usually in the form of particles, fibers, or flat sheets. Reinforced concrete is an example of a composite material. The steel rods embedded in the concrete, the matrix are the reinforcing phase adding strength and flexibility to the concrete. High performance composites are composites that perform. 
better than traditional structural materials, such as steel. Most high-performance composites have fibers in the reinforcing phase and a polymer matrix. The fibers may be glass, boron, silicon carbide, aluminum oxide, or a type of polymer. The fibers are often interwoven to form bundles. The purpose of the matrix, usually a polymer, in a high-performance composite, is to hold the fibers together and protect them. From what type of stone was Mount Rushmore National Memorial carved? Granite The monument, in the Black Hills of southwestern South Dakota, depicts the 60-foot high, 18-meter high, faces of four United States presidents, George Washington, 1732 to 1799. Thomas Jefferson, 1743 to 1826. Abraham Lincoln, 1809 to 1865, and Theodore Roosevelt, 1858 to 1919. Sculptor Gutzon Borglum, 1867 to 1941, designed the monument but died before the completion of the project, his son, Lincoln, finished it. From 1927 to 1941, 360 people, mostly construction workers, drillers, and miners, carved the figures using dynamite. What is technetium? Technetium, TC, element 43, is a radioactive metallic element that does not occur naturally either in its pure form or as compounds, it is produced during nuclear fission. A fission product of molybdenum, MO, element 42. TC can also occur as a fission product of uranium, U, element 92. It was the first element to be made artificially in 1937 when it was isolated and extracted by Carlo Perrier. 1886-1948 to and Emilio Segre, 1905 to 1989. Technetium has found significant application in diagnostic imaging and nuclear medicine. Ingested soluble technetium compounds tend to concentrate in the liver and are valuable in labeling and in radiological examination of that organ. Also, by technetium labeling of blood serum components. Diseases involving the circulatory system can be explored. How is dry ice made? Dry ice a solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2. Used primarily to refrigerate perishables that are being transported from one location to another. The carbon dioxide, which at normal temperatures is a gas, is stored and shipped as a liquid in tanks that are pressurized at 1,073 pounds per square inch. To make dry ice, the carbon dioxide liquid is withdrawn from the tank and allowed to evaporate at a normal pressure in a porous bag. 
This rapid evaporation consumes so much heat that part of the liquid CO2 freezes to a temperature of minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit minus 78 degrees Celsius. The frozen liquid is then compressed by machines into blocks of dry ice which will melt into a gas again when set out at room temperature. It was first made commercially in 1925 by the Pressed Air Devices Company of Long Island City. New York, through the efforts of Thomas Benton Slade. It was used by Schrafts of New York in July 1925 to keep ice cream from melting. The first large sale of dry ice was made later in that year to Brayer Ice Cream Company of New York. Although used mostly as a refrigerant or coolant, other uses include medical procedures such as freezing warts, blast cleaning, freeze branding animals, and creating special effects for live performances and films. In coal mining what is meant by damp? Damp is a poisonous or explosive gas in a mine. The most common type of damp is fire damp, also known as methane. White damp is carbon monoxide. Black damp. Or choke damp is a mixture of nitrogen and carbon dioxide formed by mine fires and explosions of fire damp in mines. Black damp extinguishes fire and suffocates its victims. <laughs>